It's time for our tail of the tape in this, the heavyweight division, 210 pounds or more, over 95 kilos. Hesti Gerges from Egypt fighting out of the Netherlands, taking on Miladin Brestovac out of Croatia, who will hold a three and a half inch reach advantage. And I just talked about how experienced Gerges is, but Brestovac also has 68 professional fights with an 81% win ratio and a beautiful 62% ratio for his knockouts, and a lot of them from that left kick. Our next bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's heavyweight division. Introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the black corner, a Muay Thai national champion who comes to Amsterdam on a two-fight winning streak. His record stands at 55 wins, 12 losses, one draw, and 34 career knockouts. He stands six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters, and weighed in at 260 and one half pounds, 118.1 kilos. He fights tonight out of Zagreb, Croatia. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mladen Scorpion Sting Brestava. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, a European and world champion. His professional record, 50 wins, 18 losses, one bout scored even, and 23 career knockouts. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, a full two meters, and he weighed in at fight time at an even 228 pounds, 103.5 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Egypt, here is Hesdi Fighterheart Gergen. And once again, the referee in charge of this bout is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fighting too. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves if you like. Hesti Gerges, as we've been telling you all show, has never lost in Amsterdam, and he takes a lot of pride in that fact, Joe. He does, and this is why he's Fight. extra motivated for this. He said he had one of the best training camps. His coach, Tom Herrings, one of the most legendary coaches in the game, says he's better than ever. He literally wrote the book on the sport, did he not? Yeah, he did. He, got, he gave it to me last time I was here. I'm about halfway through it. Maybe you'll be a good fighter one day when you finish reading that. There you go. We'll find out. So it's the low kick versus the high kick. Gerges wearing the white gloves, Brestovac in the black. And it, is the game plan as simple as that? Who can land their particular strike better? Well, I think so. It's going to be Brestovac trying to keep moving. Oh! Lights out in Amsterdam! Just as I said, how he sets it up, he did it. He came in, landed some good low kicks, body kicks, and then just when you don't expect it, that high kick comes out of nowhere. Well, I'm Brestovac told us yesterday, listen, I'm going to win this fight, and I'm going to do it so dominantly that Rico Verhoeven and everyone else has to take notice, and how can you not notice what he just did there? Yeah, and it was actually Gerges who threw a body kick, and then Brestovac returned right back oh. with that high kick that just hit the temple over the glove of Gerges. Gerges, perfectly timed. That's about a 240 pound left head kick by a Croatian nicknamed the Scorpion Sting. And that's why he calls it the Sting. That's that scorpion tail that just unleashes. I would say Gerges is never gonna forget that kick, but he'll never remember it. Yeah, he never gonna... saw it coming. Oh, he's definitely gonna be frustrated, as you can see in his eyes. But hey. Beautiful timing, beautiful kick. Gerges looked good. He looked like he was landing some solid low kicks. We told you at the top of the show that glory kickboxing really is the next generation of combat sports. A very high knockout ratio. You've seen two fantastic KOs so far tonight. Yeah, it hasn't stopped and every fight has been a finish and this is why it's so exciting. But just finishes like that, just boom, beautifully timed. And if you've never kicked box before and you just happen to be watching this, you're probably thinking, holy cow, that guy is what, six foot, six inches tall, and he can kick the leg that high with that much force? And even Rico Verhoeven's impressed. But wow, man, he can throw that kick from any range so close to you, you can never see it coming. And a great camera shot by our glory crew to get the reaction of the heavyweight champion of the world. We'll hear from him. When we return, what a knockout by Mladen Brestovac. 
Let's make it official now. Into the ring we go and Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an end just 37 seconds into the fight and ends by knockout. Your winner, Mladen Brestava. Congratulations to Scorpion Sting because of that kick. Were you even surprised by how quickly that knockout came? Yeah, I was surprised because uh, Hesdy was fighting here in front of home audience, so I expected a hard fight. But uh, unfortunately for him, I got lucky in the first round. <laughs> was there anything in his game that surprised you at all? Well, uh, I expected low kicks, I expected fast kicks, I expected him to move. But uh, that's it. I mean, uh, I knew what, what, what I, I was expecting. <laughs> well, congratulations. That was incredible.